We have 102 people here. That usually means we should start drafting. And we get we get to start with uh, the bounty hunter. What was his name? Ganda or something? Gunda. Gunda? Gunda? Was it Gunda? I don't know. Um, and he is... What is he? He is an average hero. He's, a, he's better than Debbie. Um, if you look at win rates or statistics, he's quite better than Debbie. And not only quite better than Debbie, he's also a part of the black color. Which you very much like when you are a draft player. Because there are very... There are a lot of good common black cards. Plus, um, he also sets up for the item team. So, Bounty Hunter is definitely a hero you pick. Uh, Gonda, Gonda. I knew something like this. Uh, so, he gets picked. He's not insane, but he's definitely alright. Uh, what we can choose here between is uh, Armed of Rebellion. Which is just a really good draft card because green is very often in your pool and you have the stonehold cloak which is also good but I talk about a topic a lot if I get in the beginning choose between good cards and good items I usually take the cards uh, it also makes my selection easier usually now yeah. the apprentice is out of question here so in the beginning we just pick the power cards that's how you should do it in draft anyway so here you have the standard barrier or bearer bearer probably and the martyr the rest is not really playable like tower barrage is playable blue i try to stay away from that oh glory catapult is just a very weak black creep creep yeah oh man so what we got? Okay, this is a pretty average pack. Will Valve, guys, I really don't think cheat death is the problem. I think RNG, like um, the ogre magi, has it, or what else do you have? Yeah, the ogre magi RNG is way worse. Golden ticket doesn't get played. It's too bad. I think the ogre magi is way more toxic. Um, yeah, and what do you pick here? <laughs> Grazing Shot and Trebuchets uh, are filler cards. And Stars Align is, a dec is an okay filler and better light. I'm really not a fan of Spot Weakness. Uh, Fog of War and Murder Plot. I'm telling you, at least we got... Oh, the wool is actually good in the end. At least we got a decent hero. Prelex! Uh, wanna play some Prelex, guys? Some blue. Okay, but back to business. Stonehold Elite is a great um, red creep. I wouldn't pick Prelex here. I just don't think she is. I I like picking blue when I'm already a little bit in blue. Like I like picking Prelex if I have a compel cunning plan, stuff like that. But not just pick the Prelex. Payday synergizes immensely with Bounty Hunter. Um, nah, this is hard. This is a hard pick here. It's like a super hard pick. So, I think we can agree that Prelex is not what we want. I would like to talk about the Stonehold Elite, the Armed Rebellion, the Thunderhide Pack, the Payday, and the Hourglass. So we have to choose between these five cards because it's a bit of a harder pack. Um, Thunderhide pack is good because we like to have exactly one finisher. And green is also very likely to end up in our hero pool, deck pool. Um, how we like it. Hourglass synergizes. I think if we pick the Hourglass, we would also pick the Payday. But to me, it just seems weaker to pick Hourglass and Payday. Um, it really just locks two cards and you could also have Armed Rebellion and Thunderhide. I think they also go in pairs. I mean, we could talk about a Stonehold lead, but we are, we are not that much in red yet. And this Armed Rebellion and Stonehold lead are very close to each other when it comes to power scaling. 
Like you can either do this or you do that, but like this you get a clearer color distribution, uh, which also makes um, yeah your black green card pool better. So that's definitely an option. Um, or you go like this, but I think I mean, you have one arm already and two wolves. Also empowering the armed rebellion now. Uh, Rix. Mit Rix wird das nix. The German would say. Um, great. Stonehold Cloak. One of the best items you can get in draft. Really good. Um, and you have armed rebellion. I mean, we can just build a very creep heavy theme here. With some decent black early game probably. How many arms are we gonna get? I mean, I'm not complaining, but at some point... Yeah, yeah, we can splash red, but before you pick the splash cards, you pick the good non-splash cards, which is kind of obvious, right? Um, so here we have Oglody, which should be picked. Um, definitely one of the stronger creeps. And you can either pick the Legion or an other arm. Although, I think to have... First of all, Bounty Hunter is not a hero which brings you creeps. That's against the second, uh, the fourth arm. And of course it also has diminishing return. Like, the first armed rebellion is of course, uh, of course much better than the second or the third. I mean, I think the second is already alright if you have two, but if you have three, this is where it gets a little bit criminal. Um, it does not get crim criminal if you have a lot of creeps though, but yeah, it's also, you're crowded on the four slot then. So Glory goes without saying, and then you can pick Slay or Legion. I think having one Slay in the deck increases your win rate quite a bit, because Thunderhide is a thing. Or you can pick the Legion, but we have really... Hmm. I mean, if you go strength-wise, we go like this, yeah? But I, I'm really, if you get a good Slay here, and I think with Bounty Hunter you also end up playing double black. That's a close call here. Yeah? Um, the Legion is a really good red card. Uh, but I think since we're already in black, we pick the Slay. Uh, yeah, we get that Barm the Rebellion back, guys. If you were ever worried. Slay is just too good. I mean, first it has to be said, if you want to play Slay, you should at least have two black heroes, yeah? That's uh, something I would like to keep in mind. Uh, Magnus, I think the base hero is just better. Especially with our deck where we have four armed rebellion. You're thankful about every creep. Um, yeah, Daxia. Oh, the sister is really... That's a really good last pick here. I mean, the Daxia is not insane, but the sister is really good. Jenny! Chen, Chen the master. With the hand of God. Pam. Yeah. The good thing is we can um <laughs> we can already uh, exclude these four cards. <laughs> um but Chen is really decent in draft. Especially because we already have one early game hero. I wouldn't even say we Yeah, Chen really fits well, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I mean, now we are really getting into the areas where you can go Chen and Decoy. Yeah. You just deploy Chen at the very last time. It's actually kind of funny because Chen would have synergy with Darkseer, a little bit at least. You need to reset your current run counter. You're very right about that. Um, yesterday we had an awesome 15-0 score. But I got so lucky with the drafts that I don't even want to talk about it. We had like the craziest heroes. Yeah, Chen should be picked here. Um, reason number one. We already... Uh, it has the creep synergy. It saves us creeps with the hero par card. But that's not... That's a minor. Uh, I guess the biggest synergy goes with um, our late game we need in green. And 
Since we are able with the arm, probably to save a lot of creeps, the hand of God also gets better. Um, yeah, so I would very much like to have Jenny boy. Hello. Hello, Red Splash. Huh? Hello, Red Splash. Ooh. Ooh. The Dark Seer just got a little bit more appealing, I think. I mean, the first... Um, time of triumph! Time of triumph, JJ! Pick it quick! Someone will steal it! Oh, it's funny how the chat goes crazy. Quick! Pick it! Pick it quick! <laughs> Now the question you have to ask yourself where which creep is stronger, the Oglody um, or the Stonehall. Um, I personally think the Oglody is better than the Stonehall, uh, but it's a very close call. The, the Oglody you might even uh, get back. Uh. Yeah, Ikalu, I will upload a new YouTube video tomorrow. Um, yeah, that's at least a plan. So we picked a giant time here. Can definitely splash for that. Uh, and since we will probably play an early game red hero now, I'm not sure about it, though. Nah, I would pick the Oglody because we are always in black because we have the Bounty Hunter. I also think the Oglody is a really good creep. Um, yeah, the blade. Uh, Sist of the way you pick, quite a good creep. And the rest is just bad. Uh, so, not the worst card pool so far. Uh, this you can always just add to the fillers. I mean, these are all just pretty much filler cards you get here. Uh, uh, pack number three. Um, pick number three, and we end up. I mean, first of all, I see an auto pick. That's always a good thing, guys. We get an auto pick in there, and then, then, my friends, I see Reftal Signet Ring, um, Satyr Duelist, Disciple of Nevermore. That I'm a big fan of this boy. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Uh, Disciple, I like power level wise the most. Um, the ring also being good. Uh, definitely being playable. I think we want to go with the Disciple here. I mean, the Satyr is good, but we are already quite committed in the fourth slot, man. I'm not sure if we're going to play the Iron Shell. But Darkseer definitely gets better with Time of Triumph. Um, yeah. But we do definitely need creeps, that's true. So it's either the Disciple or the Duelist. I think Duelist, since it's an, uh, the Disciple is a little bit better. We already have a lot of creeps. Ah, uh, yeah. I like the Mist of Avernus. Yeah! Echo Slam. Nine. Never Echo Slam, boy. Um, I see good creeps here. I don't think we ever want two Thunderhide packs. Especially our late game is already sealed with the one Thunderhide pack. Like, till turn eight, I mean, you draw five cards in the beginning, and then you draw an additional 16 cards. Maybe even more if you get the card draw card in or the Omexa. So you probably, in average, Draw like 25 cards out of 40 cards. It means like in over half of the case you have to thunder hide in the pack. And you exactly want to have the one thunder hide. <clears throat> if you watch Live Code stream, he will have evaluated that for you already, I think. So good creep. Very good creep. And good cleric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would usually pick the burning oil, but um, we need to go creep heavy, guys. Because I heard we're not only arming the rebellion once, we're also not arming it twice. 
Also not three times. No, no, no. We have to arm the rebels four times. And if you want to arm your rebels four times, you better be prepared to recruit a lot of them. Um, that's what I can tell you. Um, bracers. Um, it's actually very sacrifice. Uh, <laughs> it's very surprising because I really, in the beginning, I really was not a big fan of the bracers, but they're actually not a bad item. And since we have some item support with our friend Bounty Hunter, I think we just pick the four, uh, four drop creep. I don't think you want to run two slays. You want to have exactly one. Uh, so this is the pick here. Uh, yeah. Filler cards. No, don't need to talk about them. Boar Lycan! You dare face me? Boy, he's so synergetic with everything. Not only that he's just also a good hero, <laughs> which he is certainly. Um, but the other thing is, apparently there have been four people who abandoned him. I'm not gonna abandon him from the pack. I'm gonna join him or he can join us, however he likes to. Uh, and yeah, awesome. Yeah, how do we get this Lycan that late? And how is this pack so bad? Yeah, okay. I see, I see. 19 green cards already. Um, the instigator definitely gets better if you want to go... Armoring up. I mean, you only really have two, these two choices here. You can pick the unsupervised, but everything that is not a creep in our deck gets a little bit worse, so I would just not pick it. Ow. I'm a little bit so. Oh! Oh! Hoggers. That is um, quite the thing here, huh? Oh, I would really like to lead this deck to victory. And like as I said, guys, if we lead this deck to victory, we will have a 20 0 streak. 20 0 streak. It's kind of funny because we can perfectly splash in one red hero, one black hero, plus I, I can talk, I, I, I could talk like hours with you guys about this deck because everything is so synergetic. Like everything is really like, it's like the fist on the eye. Yeah, I want to uh, pick the Ogre Conscript because we don't have many six drops yet in red. Alter. Guys, really? What is this? I mean, first of all, do you know how good the Ramask is for our deck? Yeah, I have no words. This is freaking insane. Incoming 0 2. Oh, pretty sure I'm not gonna go 0 2 with this deck. <laughs> Yeah, so, wow, that is, it's also good, yeah. Uh, I mean, we just get the fillers in here. I mean, it's also with the card quality, it's just there. Not only that we don't have a single random hero, we also have pretty insane card quality. Like, it's not only that, like, the heroes fit perfectly. Bristleback, perfect early game hero. Bounty Hunter, perfect early game hero. Lycan, perfect early game hero. P 
perfect fro flop and pre-flop hero. I mean, you're joking, right? Plus, the Dark Seer has insane synergy with Time of Triumph and with the Splash heroes. Ay ay ay. Oh, I see what you're telling me. We could even run Stars Line in this deck, yeah? It's not the worst thought. Stars Line into Time or Thunderhide is definitely a thing. Uh huh. Um, would we like to cut some red? Probably enough magic. I mean, yeah. Do we have some trash cards? I mean, this, the green cards are really good, especially with Lycan. This deck looks... I mean, guys, this deck looks super staple. <clears throat> I mean, we have everything. We even have good items. Boah. Like, you really have everything. Uh, do we want to play the Cloak? I mean... Cloak of Endless Carnage. Really not an item which um, is good. I mean, what can we talk about? The ring is also not great. Um... Yeah, probably just play Lever Armor. Uh. Okay. Okay, I think we also don't need, I mean, I don't need to explain, uh, explain you why I think the deck is strong. The hero composition is perfect. This is like a freaking, this is like a freaking opera. This everything fits in perfectly, plus the late game. Hey, this is so good. Um, are there some, yeah, some cards you want to splash in? I mean, Star's Line is a fort worth a fort at least, but yeah, with Time of Triumph and Thunderhide. Uh, but I don't think we have the card draw to back up the stars line. But yeah, let's get going. Jump into the game. And see how the run goes. Oh, nah, we're not playing in this draft tournament. Why are the Bracers of Sacrifice good? Um, the 6 damage, I mean you can just put it on a hero which would die anyways. And when you get the 6 damage on 3, possible. Um, play, what's this passiert? Find next mid. I think our opponent disconnects. Or do I have to restart the game? No. I think I have to restart the game. Maybe it was actually me disconnecting, huh? Always possible. <laughs> so many people want to play tournaments with me. Have you guys heard about Take TV, the Seed Story Cup being an artifact tournament, guys? Hmm. Okay, um, this guy has a very strong hero base whatsoever as well. I'm a little bit scared. Okay, um, can we get a Dunada proc? Easy, easy, easy! Nein, du kleiner Drecksack, du loser! Up in the abyss with dir, you loser. Du miser loser. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, but we dodged here and he do yeah. Yeah, okay. Hey, okay, that is unfortunate. Um, yeah, I mean, we dodged here, but hey, there, okay. Ginada proc. Ooh. Okay. 
Okay, and here's whatever, yeah. It's not only that, now you can protect that Legion Commander. Yeah, we need the green hero on the left. I think that goes without saying. Because we need to be able to play our cards actually down. Like, it seems like on the left lane, we're gonna drop the Iron Shell on our boy. He's gonna drop the, the dude also on the left, right? Ah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. We, yeah, okay, face him. He will probably have a cloak. But even if he has a cloak, the Iron Shell should kill it, right? I'm ready to fight. Yeah, yeah. We need to do this here. First of all, Iron Shell is a permanent effect. Hey, that kind of sucker. Yeah. We will we will kill this guy next turn. And we will also give it an other track, I promise. Um, so here we have the wolf option, which is also very good. Uh, on the right of Lycan. And here we can just spit. Spit. Yeah, okay, this is very... Okay, at least he doesn't get the armor, so could be worse here. We just have to slay the Legion Command. Oh my god, okay, this is bad. Okay, this guy is really being annoying. I hope we can... He just dueled my Lycan and killed my wolf. That was the outcome of all of the last five seconds. And he has a good late game deck. I'm not... I'm not... I'm not that... Oh my god, this guy has a crazy early game. Holy moly. This guy didn't miss... His, okay, he ganked my heroes and didn't miss a single drop. I don't think we are in a good shape here. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, we need the bounty hunter left. And we need this in the middle, I think. We could also play this left and give it a mask blessing here. And then blink something into the middle. That might be even a better choice. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we are very much in trouble here. This guy is really like, early gaming us hard. No joke. So we could Ramask here, or we just give this the cloak first, however we want to. I mean. This is a close call. Here we can also play the sister. I'm a little bit afraid of everything here. Cloak plays around tower barrage, which should be so, uh, worth a fort. Uh, depends what items he got. If he got a healing potion for that. Hmm. Okay, I mean, this guy is smoking me pretty hard. He's really smoking me hard. Okay, it's good because we can portal him away. Um, how would you like to have it here? We can also just run Musk here. Giving three heroes a good blessing. Okay, so these are hard, the hard choices. Uh, you can also just play the sister of the whale here. Blink this away. The Ramaski is okay-ish. I think we want to really get this online here because we also kill the venom creep. I need to stay on the field this long. We definitely have to get rid of the um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. bounty hunter wants to go into the middle probably. I mean, if this survives, what can we do, right? Nothing really. That's not the best outcome, but at least we get a track down. Getting oh, this is good for us. I don't mind this. Uh, this saves our hero. Um, and we get tower damage in. So he would definitely track this. 
<clears throat> yeah. Okay, so we got a track down here finally. Yeah, okay. I mean this here is annoying. And now we should really be able to grab some ground again after he smashed us so hard in the beginning. Uh, we just go. Hey, where are the cloaks? There's one cloak. Uh, we need full one full heal. So I guess you want to have. Okay, the venom creep. Please don't spit on my dude there. Hmm. The problem is we don't really have any lane. I mean, this guy, we can blink Chen over and steal this later on. That's a good result. I think I have to play like in the middle. It's actually very important that this creep doesn't get the 1 and 3. Okay, it got the... Uh, and now it needs to be... Uh, it's 1 and 3 and then a 50-50. With around 16%. But this verse succeeds. Uh, didn't succeed, that's really good, so we could just give this a full heal. Uh, it's very important, by the way. Uh, this here is a little bit unfortunate. What? Wow, okay. This is a little bit expensive. Uh-huh. Yeah, so we have next turn we can steal this dude. That's really good. Um, this will be some hard decisions here. In the middle we can farm the prelex eventually. Okay, let's first go with the lever armor somewhere. I need some time here to think. Because these are hard decisions. Um, so what you can do is go Iron Shell on the creep here. This is really good for us. It's a really good result. Um, Iron Shell on the creep. Which is usually semi-good. Um, you can also run Musk here. That's usually good. With four units, saving one unit. And then we could play in the middle the decoy and the martyr farming prelix as a result which is very good yeah so here we probably just run musk um in the middle lane <coughs> I mean, we have to watch out he doesn't get us here too fast, therefore we have the Legion Standard Bearer. I will stand as an example. Okay, now we can just farm. Okay. I mean, what we could do is play Wool here. And give it the Iron Shell. What do you think about that? The thing is, like, what you get is you get basically... Okay, is that, that a good result for us? I don't mind, so we trade card for card, yeah. This should be fine. That should be okay. I don't mind this. And here we could play the standard bearer. To delay 7 damage. Could also wait until he maybe plays a card. I mean, next time we get control on our, over this lane here completely. Uh, and we are not so high in cards. There's no reason to play this here. So, portaling Chen over. Portaling Chen over, stealing this guy is insane. Um, he has duels, but it's more important to save Chen from duels, but he's not dual threatened, anyways. Yeah. So this is whatever. Okay, yeah, where does the bounty hunter go? Probably to the left, huh? So 
Stone Hall Cloak or Healing Potion, probably Healing Potion. Um, Bounty Hunter, Bounty Hunter. I mean, Lycan, I hope, can delay the middle enough. Yeah, this guy has to go to the left, I think. So, I mean, his bristleback will probably go to the right or what? I mean, if he steal this, is perfect, yeah. Okay, if this happens, we did everything correctly. There's also the right deploy from him. Uh, I think we should immediately portal the Chen over. We get like a hand of God, maybe. Okay, yeah, yeah, he can duel this now. We don't want that. Uh, so we should be we probably even wanted to give the Chen the cloak. Because then he also can't duel. Um, how many duels does he have? Two more, yeah. <sighs> Unless he has a sucker punch, we can also portal him. So we could either play Armed Rebellion here or on the left lane. Okay. So we probably want to do this. You probably want to play the wool here, right? And the rebellion here is obviously really good. Uh, so we can give this a sword, get some tower damage in. Okay, we can also arm the rebellion on the, on the right lane. Steal this, arm up. But farming the Venomancer here should be from uttermost profit. Uh, interesting. So wool here. Would we also farm bristleback somehow? Not. Oh, okay. We could do. Okay. Okay. First of all, let's let's portal the chin, right? Unless you want to save the. What is this? five eight? Eight damage he deals to bristleback. Yeah, and then we have the sister. But where for like, venom creep doesn't die. Yeah, this should happen. Um, we could farm the, the dude here. Play this here. Arm the rebellion. Exchange these two. Sister on that. I think I kind of like that. But he also draws an extra card by that, which I don't like. Okay, so you probably drop this guy here. Seconds remaining. I'll get their attention. I forgot that you're deaf for a while. Could kill this bristle back now. I mean he draws two cards here. Fine. Fair enough. But he loses two heroes and he needs these heroes exactly in these two rounds. I hope this works. Uh, that's really good for us. But this just happened is really good for us. I think he should have waited. He just gave us an extra creep for free. Just saying. Uh. <laughs> This here is really good. He gets one card, but we get the lane. I take that. And here... Okay. I feel like I want to have the wool on the right side. So the plan is uh, here. Legion standard bearer here. Steal this. Uh-huh. We also don't need the wool. 
Uh, maybe you want the wool still, if this spawns on the wrong row. So here I would just sit and wait, see what he does. I mean, what can you really do? Can he somehow... Sure. As long as he doesn't get the tower, we are happy. <laughs> Can he somehow disrupt the Chen ability with like enough magic, right? So maybe you should steal immediately. Yeah. Maybe you should steal immediately. I mean, we... We always get... Oh, wow, it's really good. Here. I, ho I hope there would be more draft tournaments. I hope... Why? I mean, guys, let's be honest here. You guys want to watch draft as well, right? Like draft tournaments uh, would be funnier. Okay, this we get, I think. Oh, this is so good because the stone hole will spawn here. Okay, we can play a little bit around magic, uh, enough magic and steal this immediately. Only the strongest will uh, steal this immediately. We heal this up with the potion. Nonsense, huh? Oh, and nonsense. Okay. Come, brothers. I'll give my life. Um, what is more important to keep alive? Bristle back or Chen? I think Bristleback is more important because here like most likely they will just spawn a creep, but I don't know. Chen might be hey this is so dumb. Chen might be actually more important. Uh, I mean we have the Dark Sea ability uh, in two turns. And we also have more green. Uh, just what I was looking for. We probably wanna heal a Chen up here. Uh, yeah, this is quite... Draw card is really good. Yeah, probably face boots and draw. Ah, uh, okay. Could be super close. Keenfall Golem. I never saw such a sick Keenfall Golem, to be honest. Face boots might be good on Chen. Iron Shell is crap. Disciple. And this here is good. I'm happy to see this. I don't want to see dead heroes here. We definitely, we could Iron Shell here. We will have to see. Uh, I need to do some things here. First of all, we draw the card here. Will not die. 15 seconds remaining. Okay, good thing Bristleback just died. Um, I don't want to let this uh, actually how would i like it i will probably let the martyr die here we will not fail yeah uh, probably martyr will die here the face boots i probably want to have on chen so i can exchange them here I mean, are the face boots on Chen worth it? I mean, the thing is, if you save Chen here, 
Um, you also get um, a better time of triumph next turn. So I know it is debatable. We definitely want the disciple here. We could also face boots on this and get the tower lethal. Um, is that better? Ah, that's the only question. Is that better? This guy wants an iron shell. I mean, if he has heal for the keen fold golem, that's gonna be a little bit sad. I mean, actually, you just get a tower lethal here, right? Let the Chen die because we get two red heroes to the right lane anyways. Because we can always blink, blink the black hero over then. Yeah, yeah. This is what plus... Five seconds remaining. Appreciate yeah. it. If you put face boots on Sven, he dies. No, he doesn't, right? And just switch here. Okay. No reason to exchange now. We also know he has no items, so the keen for golem will definitely die. That's really good for us. And I think also the key will die. I will put the iron shell on here, on the, the dude. Um, that's really strong. He needs a fighting. That's not even enough. That's really good for us. And now we just bristle back on the right, blink over, wreck him. With the time of triumph. Game is very close. We could also play Bristleback left, time of triumph, blink over, set up lethal in two here. Is that better? Because you get more time of triumph heroes? What do you think, guys? Isn't it a close call? It's probably better, right? Like, he will double deploy to the right and not get the lane. This is so much more damage. It's probably better. Oh, don't tell me. If he has annihilation here, I'm just gonna be sad, but what can I do? We have initiative, or we don't? Yeah, we don't. We have initiative. This here is... You can control this. Yeah. If he has annihilation, we can't do anything here. I mean... So this can be controlled. This can be portaled. I guess you want to have it. Uh, you want to face boot it? I mean, first of all, what do we portal? Probably the, the, the bristle bag, right? I have to think here a little bit. Um, oh, this is complicated. I mean, we can exchange these two. That should be sufficient. Um, when we can exchange, what else? I mean, the bounty hunter has to be portal because we get um, this damage here is. Was it 14? Yeah, okay. Probably wanna switch a Ruven first. 
What? Nah, the bounty hunter. Okay. We could pull the bounty hunter to the right and switch a rule here. That's probably better. I would like this to die. That's all I want to say. And this. Yeah, okay. You see what I mean, right? Um, hmm, it's hard. I'm really asking myself what to portal, Bristleback or Bounty Hunter. We could... We could switch a roo. Switch a roo. Then portal a Bounty Hunter, that's probably the best. Because I was thinking of switch a rooing with this there. Uh, That's probably the best. Probably the best play, right? Probably. Uh -huh. Whatever. This game is very close. Need to creep here. I mean, he will never do the 80 in the middle. That's good news. <laughs> yeah, I mean, of course it was not easy because he ganked our stuff. Plus he had an immense early game pressure. Like I actually thought the game was over in the beginning. No 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 joke guys, really. I mean Yeah, but this should also be game. To be honest. I can't see this not being game, but yeah, we will see. We definitely want to have hero deploys to the right. So this was the second duel. I mean, if we do it like this, um, he can't duel this away if it would be an issue, if you know what I mean. And in two rounds, the left lane is definitely ours. Like if I play like in there and he duels, I, I eat a lot of damage. We could also just do it like that. I mean, he has to play the key fee. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I can also just confirm lethal there. Close one. We play this to the left, he has to draw a card there, yeah. Probably like this. I mean, he has to top deck now. Because this is not good for him and we have armed rebellion. Probably... I mean, what does he do? To get the damage here. I mean, first of all, we just let him do here. Uh, let him play something. Would have prevented that. I mean, Armed Rebellion, is it still lethal? Okay, this might have been a fuck up. Because Armed Rebellion would have saved my. Ah, okay, Sucker Punch. On the other hand, now he never wins on the right or what? We can also do cleric on the right and left here on this lane. Fifteen seconds remaining. How much is this? One two plus six. 
Okay. Well, this game was really tough. This guy really got a lot of, out of me. Kind of too much pressure in the early game, I think. I mean, you saw what he did, right? Okay, he didn't have annihilation. Yeah, okay, this was really all his late game. Like, he pressured us like, like hell in the beginning. Like, he dueled our hero away when he followed up with Legionnaire into Stonehall lead. Man, he really got the, the pinnacle of his deck, right? And perfectly curving into Keenfold Golem. Yikes. Yeah. The deck is not good, man. <laughs> but we, it made us struggle so much. Hmm, we got the early mist again. That's really good. Ah, oh, he dodged there. I'll make the fifth of the twelve. Oh, that's a lot of tower damage he's bringing down. He probably just missed to the left. Why not, right? There's literally no reason, because we always de deploy this to left lane, Dark here with this. Oh wow, hey these creeps are really on spot, they know what to do. Uh, Ogre Magi on the right. Mm, wait, is this rooting on? Ooh, ooh that's dirty. How oh, about we also get the rooting here, right? Armed Rebellion, Iron Shell. Um, hmm. Oh, we have a good armed rebellion here. Saves the two creeps. Uh, that's a good armed rebellion. So we probably just drop the wolf here. I'm ready for anything. Okay. <laughs> um. Oh, he didn't get the Jinada. That would have been a pity. It's really good that he didn't get the proc. Because he could have tracked. I mean, he can track now, but it's not as good. You get the point. So what? Trebuchet. Uh, I probably want to arm here. Saving a creep um, is pretty good. Not only saving a creep, also... Threatening a lethal over two on the ogre. Ah. Let's see. Poor Bristleback. Uh, maybe you get her a mask blessing. Um. We probably play the Chen on the left, so we get um. So we get the the buff from the mist of the Avernus. Usually a good thing to do. Uh, now the bristleback dies in the middle, yeah. Hmm. He has triple here on the right now. Uh, this is where it gets tricky, my friend. Track. Our arm. Um, okay. Yeah, this dies for sure. The Lycan we can actually save, that's good. Um, hmm. Is there something, okay, we, do we have something which contests this? Uh, not really. Five seconds remaining. Hmm. Five seconds remaining. Three. 
two, one. Hmm. Could have portal this guy to the right lane, I'm not sure. That is a close call. I want to really play the healing self on the Lycan. That's really important. And I probably also want to play the second armed rebellion there. Oh yeah, we will see. Mm. I mean, it doesn't get the lane. But This should happen. Also plays around like hip fire. I mean, if we arm the rebellion here again, we kill that hero and we save this creep. Yeah, yeah, that's really insane. Although it's also good there. I want to save this creep there. It's really strong. A good arm. Until they are destroyed. Like that is problematic if this happens for you. Um, so now we can finally get the health items. Two cloaks should be good enough, I think. And he will probably play a tree into the right lane. Is there any reason whatsoever to play something into mid lane? Uh, yeah, Miss Avernus is such a crazy card, man. Uh, so this can be saved. Uh, we can play Bounty Hunter to the right. Or we just pour the Chen over to the right. It's probably the better course of action because we get something to steal. Hmm. Seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. I think we want to have the sister here, so we get more awareness buff, and I think we uh, portal Chen over. Like this. Yeah, and we probably also give this a cloak. Like he might have at any cost, I'm not sure, but safe is safe. Better safe than sorry in this case. Hey SKN, how is it going? Oh, this is whatever. This is good. Oh, he's dead. I mean, as long as the disciple dies, we are Gucci. Yeah, so he pulls that to the right, I assume. But the tower doesn't fall. That's maybe an important note. Uh, so we want to heal this up. I mean, if the tower doesn't fall, we can do stuff, right? It's at two. Huh. Promise we don't have the creeps for that yet. Good thing is he can't really ramp into Thunderhide here because we have Chen here now. Um, but the, these are all things he can do. I mean, 17 damage. I don't think he can do it in the next turn. Uh, we could save this guy. I mean, what means save? Um, we can just give it a cloak because we have the money now anyways. We could try to, to hold the mid tower, seriously. I 
I mean, how will he deploy now? Yeah, okay, it's a bit dumb. I mean, left lane falls in two. He has to play like the ogre there. And we also have a pretty strong hand of God on the right. That's probably better. Yeah, okay. What he's saying is, I don't care. It's fair, <laughs> I guess. So we could keep just initiative for the right lane. So what do we play around? Oh no, he has initiative anyway, so it doesn't matter. And here he has this. Okay, intimidation doesn't do it. the most damage Here you go. yeah we could have defend the mid with the bracers maybe but we didn't have the creeps you're right and here he has to deal an extra two but we have the chen ability uh, this will be close maybe I mean, Thunderhide is not it, that's the good news. Plus, we have creeps. I bring wisdom of what is to come. Hmm. He has his stupid book of the dead. We can always blow up Bristleback, but it just increases the damage or what? Could steal the tree um, because for five mana they are not really good creeps, and then we can also drop double, uh, but double creep. This has to be good because now we could also drop like double four drop, which makes lethal for him basically um, impossible. Uh, for five mana, it really is nothing. And left lane always falls. We can just click through here. The tower will fall. Yeah. Whatever. For the glory of and this here is just ancient kill. Yeah. Like there's no rooting in the world that saves them here. Double creep spawn is a good start though. That's oh. minus 14. Minus 15. But we also get a burn spot. That's fine. Dude, Mr. Vernus is so oppressing. It's so crazy. Wait, we're what? Four? Four and one now. Okay. I mean, this is probably average here. Yeah, yeah, early miss is pretty stupid. I also think it's pretty crazy. So, what are we playing? Bloodseek and Sola. Holy moly. We're gonna have this here. I'll give my life for the rebellion. Kind of sad. The Bristleback is the only hero which farms Phantom Assassin. The protects me. 
Yeah. Kraken shell. Poggers. Uh... Probably Darkseer on the left as always. I'm here to fight. Stupid creep. Why, why, why are you doing this? Ward, sure. Uh, so Darkseer goes here. Uh, he should play Sola also on the left, right? In the mid lane, she she's not exactly doing the job. Um, but yeah, he sees it differently. Uh, vicious, suspicious. Oh wow, this does nothing. Um, yeah, okay. You can play vicious on what? Oh. Yeah, I probably want to have the wolf here. I mean, first of all, do we need the sword somewhere? I mean, here we farm this in two. That's probably advisable. And now I'm asking myself... Yeah, now we can definitely play the wolf here. On the left, so it grow. maybe it gets the rooting. And in the mid lane, Iron Shell on the Lycan. Ooh. Ooh. I was even thinking about Iron Shell on the Creep. Oh. So we can gank Sola. Huh. Rewards his allies. Yeah, but this is permanent. This is not permanent. I don't like. I mean, we get the damage in there. It's pretty valuable. And here we probably just played in the viscous. And, uh, PA. So, Chen mid or Chen left? That's a question here. I think Chen left. We can always portal something over if we want to. It's going a little bit too fast for him on the mid lane because Lycan is snowboarding so hard. We can portal the wolf so he doesn't die. Uh huh. I always find my mark. And he got crippling blood. Okay. Shoot, hmm. shoot, shoot. Poor ducks here, but at least we get the ability in. Uh. Yeah, we always portal the wolf, right? I think uh, it just makes the most sense. Play, play the four or five drop. I raise the bull snake high. Okay. Does that matter? You could also portal this and sister of the whale here. Dang. That also seems juicy. <laughs> uh, because this heals up, you know. Hmm. 15 seconds remaining. On the right lane? Yeah, sure. That is juicy, right? Because he has no items. Oh. 
Also a big fan of the curve, you know. On the shadows I strike. And without a hero right or left. Your name is on my list. That is perfect. Pam. So these two die, this survives, we get an extra creep. I mean it's kind of hard because we also sacrificed the wolf. Um but definitely interesting interaction. Here we have nothing whatsoever. That's really, really good for us. Uh, uh, we're just getting all... I mean, this is very equal, the right lane with this. Um, but we are really also dominating the left, the mid lane. Yeah. Like, left lane is definitely going down against the Oglodi. And this lane, yeah, I mean, we have instigator into Vandal. <laughs> Rooting uh, would have been would have been a little bit too much. A four hero gang ground, mm -hmm. a little bit too much. Nah, can't have everything. But we can have 20 gold. Small does nothing, huh? But I would. Okay, we need at least one cloak. Damn, I mean, this farms PA. Okay, I mean here we probably just drop the Vandal. Uh, we have no green play in the middle. What I co call a pity. Do we need a sword? Maybe on the lichen, but not exactly good. Oh, he didn't buy an item. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. That is actually interesting. Oh, he might get very punished for this. Nothing deters me from the hunt. I mean, maybe he has another Kraken shell. Wow, that's a, that's a big punish. Losing this guy before the Ravage comes out. Wow. Put a grass. Zack, and she also dies. According to plan. So there could be what a grazing shot, no, not really. I 
mean, if this works out, we really just have all three lanes. My task awaits. And I don't think the 48 gold will make him happier. Because this lane is about to fall, this lane is about to fall, and the other one as well. We can buy this. A muskel is alright if you need it. So we can just. We could just play Darkseer left and Portal Chen, but I think it's kind of not needed. We can also just steal that creep. In the middle, we could play like Hand of God. Like he really has to defend also the right lane. Probably steal this, right? Because there is literally no reason not to. Um, so we can blink the green hero over in time of triumph. Yeah, but we definitely steal this here. Also, for the reason of um, Hand of God being better. He might cool the grass, but uh, there's really not a good application for that. What can he do here? Shoot a like in a way, yeah. Yeah, so here we just hand of God probably. It's a good heal. In the middle hand of God is not really good. I wonder what he kills, the lichen or the bristle? Bristle was better for him. Good farm is solar. But he probably has an item, let's be honest. Uh, what's more fun, Grand Prix Gold Immunity Patch or Artifact Now? Ooh, these, um, these are like totally different audiences. Uh, that's a good question, actually. I, I mean, they both kind of solved a different purpose. I enjoyed Grand before I... It was... Yeah, uh, I think from the enjoyment level. Bah, what can you say? The old Grand was also really good. And yeah, these rings are so useless for. Uh, um, do we want to blink something over? Like the decoy here. Oh, actually, can, we can switch these out and then blink the decoy. That's probably good. Probably get more damage. This ring is just way too expensive. That's one thing I can tell you. In 
it here. Yeah, sure. He can cool the grass if he wants to. But it's not like he has unlimited resources. This will do. Uh, the playing ones could even blow bristle up <laughs> Form on my standard. if you want that Gank. What did he gank? The creep. You never blow him, bro. I think. It depends where if he would ever. What do we push? We push plus nine damage. I mean, the thing is, he could just um, play the steam cannon here. This here next. I would rather get rid of the creeps now. I think it's a little bit better. Because he has a steam cannon on the left, so he can always shoot over, kill Bristleback. I'm sad. You don't need a cloak for a dark seer, right? Yeah, he probably wants to play the coup in the middle now. Um, but as soon we get Bristle and the other dude back. Yeah. We can just time of triumph the middle. And he will not get the middle uh, the, the right lane so fast. So I think we're fine here. I will just keep initiative so we can play the wolf down before he drops the coup de grass. Or does he really want to gank the bounty hunter? <laughs> does he have four cards and three items? He already expend. Yeah. I don't think I don't think there's much he can do. Really not. Fine. Now we could even do this. My
Even if he has a healing potion now, we can just shoot this up. just drop the wolf here then because we get plus seven damage I think we take that and uh, this is on cooldown perfect this threatens also two turn eventually and I don't think he can put the damage down here like not even close to right not even close. Like how does he where does he magically put out the 23 damage cannon? Hmm. I'll make this quick. Um cool the grass. I mean, if both creeps go to the left, and if no creeps go to the left, we actually have a pretty easy decision. This here is totally overcommitted. I don't even know <laughs> what this is here. <laughs> uh. Guess we are under siege. Yeah, actually, we should exchange these two. What can he shoot here? Can shoot minus four damage. So actually, we have thirty-one damage. Lucky I survived this. Grand melee. Doesn't even die. Death comes for you. Yeah, let's see where the creep spawns go. Probably just win on left now. Okay. So let's say we play both heroes to the left. Uh, we need a pretty bad routing, right? We, just plus, we are at 31 because this will die. 8 plus this. Yeah, I think we should be fine. And we still have the time. This is, uh, it's actually in front of a creep we want it to be. We also get a lichen buff here, so we can just play Hand of God here and win. Under hide and win. Doesn't matter, right? Oh, we played Helm of Triumph and win. This is his last savior. Hmm. 
actually pretty impressive, uh, impressive, right? I had a lot of wins with this deck. 4-1. Four, four, cool. Damn. I want to look at my packs. The narrow maze is a nightmarish labyrinth oh, where death. souls of dead heroes are given a chance to return to the living. Axe claims he's escaped it twice, but what is this? Uh, I don't believe him. Mainly for two reasons: one, he can't kill Axe. Two, even if he did die, he would punch death in the face before he could be taken to the narrow maze. The Dota Law is actually pretty cool, right? The narrow maze. <laughs> Good kind is like the guy who follows X and he's writing everything down. It's pretty funny. You've watched the lore a little bit. <laughs> 